Wait, Caitlin isn't here yet. Look, I have soccer training in an hour, so we can do it without her. Are you sure? Just do the weird opening thing if she likes and she'll be happy. Hi, internet, I guess. My name's Jessica. Michael. We're 17 and... <gasps> you started without me? <laughs> Jessica, just the girl I wanted to see. Now, while I was editing last week's vlog, I couldn't help but realise that Jonathan can't keep his mouth shut and he blabbed to you that I'm uploading the videos. Without Alan's permission. My point is, I need to ask you a favour. Actually, let me phrase this differently. My point is, I am warning you that if you dare tell Ellen... Don't I'll... worry, I won't. Something about the fact that you and Ellen are best friends kinda doesn't reassure me. Look, I'm not going to. You can trust me. Thank you then. But you can also trust the fact that I'm not doing this for you, Caitlin. I'm doing it because Jonathan had a good argument as to why I shouldn't tell Ellen. I'm doing it because I think it will help her. Good enough for me. See ya. You're leaving? I have an appointment to get to. Bye. Damn it, she irritates me. I thought you two were friends. We are. If Caitlin irritates you, why do you hang out with her? Caitlin's a bitch, but... We have a lot in common. Like what? We're just people of the same group, I guess. What, the popular group? Yeah, I guess you could say that. It's just, I'm good at sport, so I have friends who are good at sport, who have girlfriends that are cheerleaders, who are friends with people like Caitlin. It's just a part of the big circle of social classing, I guess. Every school has it. I've <laughs> been to enough. You can always hang out with people that don't irritate you when you go to film school, though. It's not like normal school. We all have a similar passion. Film. It's why we're there. I mean, you could always hang out with Ellen and I. Look, I'll be honest. I found a group and I'm not all that interested in straying away from it. No matter how irritating and bitchy everyone in that group is. If you insist. Oh, I was watching back the second video the other day. You know, the one where Caitlin was demonstrating the art of vlogging. Yeah. Well, I realised something. You didn't really introduce yourself. Yeah, I did. I mean, you talked about how you had a brother in LeBron the Dog, but you didn't really introduce yourself. So, tell us something about you. I like soccer. Okay, good start. Um, what about why you want to study film? What aspect of the film industry are you most interested in? Well, honestly, computer generated imagery. CGI? Really? Yep, it's, it's one of the hardest areas to find a job in. <laughs> you gotta be the best of the best. Well, are you any good at it? Give me a proper computer and good editing software and I'll have a video up of aliens abducting your cat in minutes. You never really struck me as one who was good with computers. You'd be surprised. So, what about you? Why are you at film school? I want to be a director. <laughs> Righto. What? You know directors have to be people capable of bossing other people around, giving instructions and blowing the top every time someone screws up. So? Jessica, if a fly landed on you, you would sooner stay dead still as not to disturb it. Then swat it away. You're not the type of person to control other people. How do you know that? This is the first time we've ever actually had a conversation. You don't even know me. But I see you in class. I mean, the other day when you had a cold, you offered to leave the room and fail the test automatically, just so your sniffling wouldn't distract the rest of the class. I was being considerate. You think that means I wouldn't make a good director? I think that means you're too nice to be a director. You're gonna be late for soccer, Michael. I think it's time for you to go.